Our second president, John Adams, said that this this country and this constitution was framed for a moral and religious people. It is unsuitable for the government of any other. My friends, we don't deserve our Second Amendment right, do we? Right? There's so many mass shootings. We don't deserve our Second Amendment free freedom of the right to keep and bear arms. Why? Because people don't fear God anymore. When people don't fear God, you can't trust them with a weapon. Our country is going down the toilet, morally, spiritually, Look at people, people who are watching TikTok 10 hours a day, turning their brain into mush, thinking I can identify as a furry, a, a man identify as a woman. That's disgusting. That's an offense to God. That's, the truth hurts you so much. Don't be so hateful against the truth. I hate sin. I hate, I hate sin. God bless you, ma'am. God bless you. Thank you, friend. Thank you, dear man. You are wielding the sword of justice in defense of truth and virtue. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you sir. See you in heaven. When you start unprovoked attacking certain demographics. But I'm not attacking it, uh, no, you. You don't have to take it It doesn't personal. matter. It doesn't matter if it's me You don't have to take I'm it I'm everybody. Personal, I'm sir. the collective. Do you know if but I'm gay do, or not? Do you, believe do you know if I'm gay or not? I don't know, but have I, I know you that? that you're very have angry you when that? I approach that subject. Yes, because I know people who I know okay. who, who are very, very dear to me, who if you said that while they're around, it's Stop a very, it. very, it's very, it's very it's different it's circumstance. Do you do you hate pedophilia? But what does that have to do with being gay? You haven't clarified that. You're very, it's very, it's very weird. Again, you are, you are a weird, weird person. If you think you're gay and go to pedophilia, I think But I thought you, weird is I normal. Think, no, I thought weird is the normal. Don't do that. Don't see do that. Saying, don't man? do that. No, I don't see what What's you're saying. What's your name, man? I'm Dan. You're being pejorative. I'm Dan, man. I'm Dan. I'm not going to give you my name. I don't like, I? I don't know you as yeah. a person enough to give you my name. Okay. It's, so what I, I mean, think, your first name. What I think is that is that you see gay people walking around and you think, oh, that person must be a pedophile. I no, think I don't that think that. I think you have pedophilia so deep in your mind that you may have pedophilia. I think you need to consider it. Thank you. Look, I, man, you I want you to be safe, man. You don't. I, the you Jesus don't, said the don't. truth will make you free. Jesus, the truth. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus also, said that. Jesus he also did, said man. people shouldn't judge other people. God bless you. Jesus, you Thank you for your time, you man. Thank you for your time. The, the Bible says, unless we repent, we shall all likewise perish. The Bible says that God does not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. And we have people today who have minds that do not correspond with reality. To identify as a man when you're born a woman is crazy. But the Lord Jesus, he can heal crazy people. The Lord Jesus is merciful and he saved me and I know he can save crazy people. I don't hate crazy people, I pity them. What's up? Yes, sir. What's that? What do I want? I want you to be saved. I want you to know the truth. Do you ever been to church? Have you ever gone to church before, sir? My friends, I would challenge you to read the Bible. We live in an unchurched generation. People don't even go to church anymore. People don't even honor God. They don't even, they think there is no God. You know what the Bible says? The fool, the fool says in his heart, there is no God. If you think is there, if you think there is no God, I pity you, I pity you. I don't hate transgenders or homosexuals or sodomites. I love them. Hey, he's paying attention. He's paying attention. It's good, man. The Lord Jesus, my friends, he can save crazy people. The Lord Jesus can heal crazy people. He saved me. And if Jesus saved me, he can save anybody, no matter how hateful they are. No matter how hateful they are. Don't hate the truth, sir. Leave the gays alone. Stop. The hate, leave the gays alone. Stop. Sir. The hate, leave the gays alone. Stop. The hate, leave the gays alone. Stop. The hate. In their women exchange natural sexual <laughs> relations for unnatural ones. Yes, sir. In the same way, men also abandoned natural relations with women, women right. and were inflamed with lust for one another. Right. Men committed shameful acts with other men That's it. and received themselves in due penalty for this error. So it happened yes, and it's yeah, over. So what's the problem? That's no, no, no. God's judgment is falling on this country because no, no, no. we have this abandoned... Is, no, no, this is... They're describing something that already happened. Sir, have you ever no, read this before? Too. Have I read the Bible? Have you read yeah. this particular verse? Well, yeah, but you're jumping to a conclusion without... No, no, exegesis. I'm not... No, I'm not... You know what exegesis no, is, sir? No, no, you're exegesis is what you're meaning, is what you're trying to say. Exegesis. Jesus. Exegesis is the interpretation of the scripture within its historical and grammatical context. It's sir. not historical. 
Yes, sir. No, it's not. It's, it's a. It's a church at Rome. No, it's, it's not. Paul wrote it's, a, it's a translation from Aramaic to sir, Greek. Look, to, to, God uh, is going to judge homosexuals who do not repent. There's a who? place called hell. Who? God who? will all judge, and I don't want you. I, know, I don't, what, I don't, you, I don't you, want you to be lost. So you know where the verse is. I want you to check so that you're out. Saying all I want you to go home. Gay people I know to be look, you're not listening to me, man. No, no, that's so you go ahead. You study that. You go ahead and you study that. I have it here, but that's right. What part? What part of this is AIDS? What part of this is? Oh, that's the natural. That's the natural consequence of it, man. No, 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 no. See, I didn't bring up AIDS. You brought up no, AIDS. No, she brought See, up AIDS. Exactly. You, because it's God's so judgment. Weird. It's so God's weird judgment. That you're now That's cool, man. God bless you. See, God judged America with the HIV, right, pandemic, the AIDS pandemic, because we think a man can marry a man. That's disgusting. If you think a man can marry a man, God is angry with you. That's right. The Bible says that God is angry with the wicked every day. I would challenge you to study the Bible. You're not getting any support, man. Leave the gays alone. Oh, two people. Stop. The hate. Leave the gays alone. God bless you. God bless you, man. Leave the gays alone. Love you, man. Love you, man. Stop. The hate. I feel like there's a lot of people who say everyone's a pedophile. Follow me. God bless you, friends. I love you. God, I love New York, man. God bless you. Oh, you do. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. See? Thank you. <laughs> My friends, the Bible says, confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and you shall be saved. Right? Life is short, my friends. Believe on Jesus. God bless you. Hermano. Hermano. Yeah. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says, and you shall be saved. You know, my friends, God's judgment is coming in this world. God is angry with America. God is angry with our country because we think a man can identify as a woman. We think a woman can identify as a man. God is angry with America because we have turned our back on God. We have turned our back on the truth. Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father except by me. This is what Christmas is about, folks. Christmas is not about a Christmas tree being decorated, which is a beautiful thing. But Christmas was about the birth of the Savior who would adorn the tree of Calvary with his blood. The tree of Calvary would be adorned with his blood. That's why Jesus was born. Jesus wasn't born, my friends, to just give us new toys and new goodies. Jesus was born to die on a cross to save sinners. My friends, if you think there is no God, I pity you. I pity the fool, right? I pity the fool who says there is no God. The Bible says that. The Bible says the fool says in his heart there is no God. You're going to face God one day. You're doing court, folks. Every one of you. It doesn't matter how big your stock portfolio is. It doesn't matter how big your cryptocurrency wallet is. Everyone is due in court. You need a lawyer, my friends, because when you die, the rich and the poor die the same. The rich and the poor die the same. You can't bring your Tesla with you when you die. You can't bring your nice stock portfolio with you when you die. My friends, I challenge you, please, to study the Bible. Christmas is supposed to be about the advent, the coming of the Savior, about the birth of the King of Kings. The Bible says, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name, God bless you, shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. My friends, call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. One day we're going to exit this thing called life. Just like you're about to exit this ferry, one day you're going to exit life itself. And you have to face judgment. Death is coming for everyone and you need a savior. Death is inevitable. Look to the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Lord Jesus Christ gives everlasting life. Jesus spilled his blood. This is what Christmas is about, folks. Christmas is about the, the birth of the Savior, Jesus, who laid down his life to save sinners. The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, and you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. It doesn't matter how much money you got. When you die, that's it. There's no second chances. When you die, there are no second chances. Call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Study the Bible. The Bible built your civilization. The Bible built your society. 